I'm Miss Sarah from the Ella Branch Library, and I'm here with my dragon friend, Sparky. Say hi, Sparky. Sparky and I are going to do some songs and rhymes with you today, and Sparky would like to start with a hello song. So we're gonna wave our hands hello, we're gonna clap hello, and we're gonna wiggle hello. You can do this along with us. Ready? It goes. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. We wave hello to all our friends. We wave hello like this. All right, we're gonna clap, ready? We clap hello like this. We clap hello like this. We clap hello with all our friends. We clap hello like this. And we're gonna wiggle, ready? We wiggle hello like this. We wiggle hello like this. We wiggle hello with all our friends. We wiggle hello like this. Good job, Sparky, and good job all of you. <gasps> Oh, what's that, Sparky? Oh, he wants to sing another song. Do you know if you're happy and you know it? Sparky loves to sing if you're happy and you know it. Oh, Sparky has a few changes. He says instead of stomping our feet, he would like to boop his nose because he has no feet to stomp. And, oh, okay. He says instead of shout hooray, he likes to play peekaboo because Sparky doesn't like to shout. He's a very quiet dragon. So you ready? We're gonna sing, if you're happy and you know it, we're gonna clap our hands, boop our nose, and peekaboo. We're ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands, boop your nose. If you're happy and you know it, boop your nose. If you're happy and you know it, boop your nose, boop, boop. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, boop your nose, boop, boop. Oh, he got my nose. All right, this time we're going to peekaboo. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo, peekaboo. If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, peekaboo, peekaboo. Good job. Oh, Sparky really likes that song. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, Sparky wanted me to show you some books that he found in the library all about dragons. Sparky loves to read stories, and we have lots of books about dragons in the library. So we will show those to you and you can request them and come pick them up at any branch of the Akron Library. This is My Magical Dragon by Yu Jin Shin. This book has dragons, rainbows, unicorns, all kinds of fun and magical things. He also found Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon by Melissa Marr. In this story, a little girl and her dragon are playing around at the castle and they go on a wonderful adventure together, but Baby Dragon likes to run ahead. This is Dragons Are Real by Holly Haddam. In this story, you can see all the reasons why dragons are very, very real. These are some of Sparky's favorite books and you can check them out at the library. Sparky is also excited today because he was playing around in the toy closet and he found something special. Do you want to show them what you found, Sparky? I have it right here. Sparky found a shaker egg. We'll give Sparky his shaker egg. <gasps> and Sparky, don't eat your shaker egg. No, 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 no. It's for shaking, not for eating. Shaking, not eating, okay. We're gonna sing a song with Sparky's shaker egg. You can sing along and shake with us. If you don't have a shaker egg, you can just shake yourself and pretend that you have a shaker egg or you can shake your hand instead of an egg. We're going to shake our shaker up and down. Can you shake it up and down? We're gonna shake it side to side. Shake it side to side. How about on your head? Shake it on your head. And around and around. Good job, ready? It goes, shake my shaker up and down, up and down, up and down. Shake my shaker up and down. Shake, shake, shake. Good job, Sparky. All right, we're gonna do side to side, ready? Shake my shaker side to side, 
side to side, side to side. Shake my shaker, side to side. Shake, shake, shake. How about on your head? Shake it on your head. Shake my shaker on my head, on my head, on my head. Shake my shaker on my head. Shake, shake, shake. Round and around. Shake my shaker round and around. Round and around, round and around. Shake my shaker round and around. Shake, shake, shake. Good job, Sparky. Oh, no, don't eat the shaker. We're going to put that away before Sparky tries to eat it. Okay. Oh, what's that, Sparky? Oh, Sparky wants me to show you a dragon story. Sparky loves stories about dragons, and I have the perfect dragon story to share with you. This is a flannel story based on the book, I Took My Frog to the Library by Eric A. Kimmel. Only in this story, instead of frogs going to the library, dragons are going to go to the library. One day, I decided to take my dragon to the library. Do you see my dragon? What color is my dragon? That's right, I have a red dragon. I took my red dragon to the library, but my red dragon has some very big, sharp teeth. And all of the babies at the library got very scared and they cried. My red dragon isn't scary, but his teeth are a little bit scary. So I had to take my red dragon home. I decided to bring a different dragon to the library. This is my blue dragon, that's right. Blue dragon has a lovely long tail, but blue dragon likes to run around in circles really fast. And blue dragon started running around the library very fast and that big long tail knocked books off the shelves and made a giant mess. And we can't run around and make a giant mess at the library, so I had to take blue dragon home. Instead, I decided to bring purple dragon, that's right. Purple Dragon really was excited to come to the library, but I forgot Purple Dragon has great big claws that are super sharp. And while Purple Dragon didn't scare anyone, Purple Dragon put holes in the books. We can't ruin the library books, so Purple Dragon had to go home. I decided to bring, that's right, Yellow Dragon. Yellow Dragon loves story time. So I took Yellow Dragon to hear some stories. Yellow Dragon sat right up front to see all the stories, but Yellow Dragon has really big ears and all of the kids behind Yellow Dragon couldn't see. So Yellow Dragon had to go home. Next, I brought my Pink Dragon to the library. Pink Dragon has all of these beautiful scales, sparkly scales all over. And I forgot that those sparkly scales fall off and they get on everything. They make a giant mess. It's like glitter. So Pink Dragon had to go back home. We don't want to leave a big mess behind us. I decided instead to take my, oh, that's right, my Green Dragon to the library. My Green Dragon isn't scary. My green dragon sits at the back during story time and listens very quietly. My green dragon doesn't run around and make a mess, except I forgot that my green dragon has allergies. And when my green dragon's allergies act up, he sneezes fire. And at the library, he caught the librarian's hair on fire. Oh my goodness. I had to take green dragon home too. So after that, I had to leave all of my dragons at home, but I bring books home from the library and Sparky, he will read to them. That's the end. That was a fun story, wasn't it? I wouldn't recommend taking your dragons to the library though. Mm. Nope, not a good idea. Well, we are going to do another rhyme. This one is called Open the Book. So we're gonna open the book, close the book, open the book. Close the book. Turn a page. Turn a page. Turn a page. Open the book. Close the book. Open the book. Close the book. Turn a page. Turn a page. Turn a page. Open the book. Close the book. Put it away. Good job, Sparky. Oh. 
Sparky wants to sing another up and down song. He likes to go up and down. So we are going to sing the Grand Old Duke of York. Are you ready, Sparky? You gotta do your marching. Here we go. Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of a hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good job, Sparky. And he marched them to the left. And he marched them to the right. And he marched them around and around and around and he marched them out of sight. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Good job, Sparky. That was excellent. Oh, Sparky wants to do one more song with his shaker egg. All right, you got your shaker egg? Okay, hold on to it. Do not eat it. Got it? No eating it. No. Okay. He's going to do another shaker song. This one goes, <clears throat> can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Put your shaker on your head. Oh, good job, Sparky. He put it on his head. Let's try again. Ready? Can you shake along with me? Along with me, along with me, can you shake along with me? Put your shaker on your nose. Oh, good job, Sparky, right on your nose. Ready? Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Put your shaker on your ear. Oh, good job, you found your ear, Sparky. All right, ready, one more. Can you shake along with me, along with me, along with me? Can you shake along with me? Put your shaker on your shoulder. Good job, Sparky. Well, it's time for Sparky and I to say goodbye. So we will put away our shaker eggs and we will sing our goodbye song, just like our hello song. It goes, we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. How about clap goodbye? Can you clap goodbye? We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye like this. We clap goodbye to all our friends. We clap goodbye like this and wiggle. We wiggle goodbye like this. We wiggle goodbye like this. We wiggle goodbye to all our friends. We wiggle goodbye like this. Wave one more time. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Bye. We will see you next week. Come sing with us again. Bye, everybody.